All right, this video I want to talk a little bit about the Herco text lettering block in conversational programming. We have a couple of different options when we look at text. We have some options for stick lettering, which is what we're going to see here on the top, and the two examples on the graphic screen, and we have true type font. True type font will always create a block type letter, and one of the benefits there is we can use these letters as either islands or pockets within an island to give us a little bit more flexibility with the type of programming that we're going to do. We insert these in the program. You can see that each one of those types is a different kind of feature. And if we go to milling, more, and under lettering, you see that we have all of the different types of lettering available to us. or stick lettering, true type lettering. We can do either of those two along a contour, or we can create an arc or some kind of uh, contour shape and then uh, kind of uh, sweep those along that contour. And we can do some serial lettering as well, serial numbering and lettering. But each one of the blocks is very similar in that when we get inside the block, we're going to create a text box that these letters will be fit inside. As we start looking through the questions, the first one wants to know the X and Y reference location of that particular box. I can either use along the X axis the start of that block or text box, the center, or the far right side end of it. I have similar in the Y axis, similar uh, controls here where I can either or, uh, locate that set, uh, text box with either the center of that text box, the bottom edge, or the top edge of it. I've chose to put it in the center of my block using the center of the text box. These next two want to know what is the length height and width of that text box. So we're going to create a five inch long text box in the x-axis. It's going to be three quarters of an inch tall. What do you want to type in there or what do you want to be engraved in there? You put your text here. Give it some rapid to uh, Z start, Z bottom, your final depth, and so forth. What kind of spacing do you want between the letters? What kind of tool? and you hit draw and you'll get letters like what we saw on the graphic screen. For the true type font, we have almost the same type of controls. We have the same X and Y reference locations to, to uh, place this text box where we want it. We have the same X and Y length to describe the size of the text box and we have a place here to put the text that you want to be um, displayed. But under mapping now, we have, instead of character spacing, we have a few other things. We have what is included in the height of the uh, one inch text box that we've created here. Body only will not include anything that would drop down below the line of the, the majority of the letters. Like if you were writing something on a piece of notebook paper that had a line, whatever drops below would not be included. Maybe you would want in within that one inch to include what is descended below the line, anything that is above the main body of the letters, or if you want the whole font together. So we have some control here on what gets included within that one inch or the height of our text box. And the other additional thing here is under milling type, uh, we not only have on, which would be the center of the tool cutting around the body of the of the letters, but we also can do some cutter comp left and right for profiling of these letters. We can make them a boundary, pocket boundary, or an island within a boundary, as I mentioned. So a little bit more um, explanation of some of the things that are available with the uh, different lettering blocks available in the Herco WinMax control. And I hope you found this uh, short little video helpful.